Hello, guys. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something. Guess what I'm doing again? Oh, you can't even see. What? In the pantry. <laughs> oh, that kind of ruins the surprise, but I am going to Illinois for Keevan's birthday, so I am packing. And as you can tell, we are doing the not suitcase, just the backpack option. I'm gonna go ahead and shower and then I will talk to you guys more and be back. Oh, okay guys, so I'm gonna go home for Keeman's birthday. It's his 23rd birthday, so it's his golden birthday. So it's a really big deal, so this is the gift that he wanted. So we will be going to our hotel. If you remember our Valentine's Day vlog, it's the 1857. Now that was supposed to be our last time going there, but like I said, it's a special birthday and we don't really wanna be in Illinois, but it was my turn to come visit, so it just worked out. So I'm gonna be showing you what I got for him. It is from Hooray Heroes and I was reached out to be an ambassador for this and honestly I have nothing to regret from it. I will be posting it on Instagram so you've probably already seen it by the time you see this video but it is 10 reasons why I love you and that's me and that's him. It's really really cute. So that's what I'm getting him. I'll probably show I'll probably show that video on here to be honest with you so stay tuned for that surprise. Now let me also show you something because it, it can never be just normal for me. So between me and you since you know we're close. They also gave me the original one that I first got, and I'm a ghost. And I'm not kidding you. I got this in the mail, and I was like, hmm, it's kind of weird. I am a ghost. Like, he's literally... Where am I? So I threw a fit. I was like, I, this is not something I want to support. Uh, but they were really, really, like, responsive and were, like, super apologetic. And it was something in their computer base, so it wasn't them. But, like, what is my luck? So now I have one to keep at home. But of me, dead. So I'm just packing everything up. Um, but you keep on asking me, like, how I pack everything in a backpack instead of a suitcase. And how I travel and, you know, live like that. So I will be posting a video of that next week whenever I'm unpacking everything. So remind me of that. I also am really weird. I, like to have my room completely perfect before I leave, which is very obnoxious. Last time I was home, let me borrow a sweatshirt and all fine and dandy, but now that I think about it, I forgot that I had to bring it back, and I'm not going to bring that sweatshirt, but this is like one of his favorite sweatshirts that I got for Christmas, um, and it's a wrapper that we listen to, Polo G, so I feel bad keeping it, so I guess that's what I'm going to wear, and then I'll just wear like a t-shirt, I don't know, see, now I'm stressed out, good thing I am have you guys to talk to this stuff about, but yeah, I'm super like... At this point, I'm just used to traveling the pandemic. Also, let me know below if you want me to like tell you guys like safe tips to travel the pandemic because yeah, that's definitely something that I have learned. I'm wearing goggles and two masks. The real question I can't figure out, like the thing is with bringing just the backpack, you have to only pick one pair of shoe. So I really need to figure out what kind of shoe I'm gonna bring. It's either my Air Forces or my Docks, which my Air Forces are so comfy. But my docks are my docks. Stay tuned. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna finish packing and I will check in. I have to get up. We're leaving here at 5 45 in the morning. So I think I have everything packed. I have what I'm wearing tomorrow. I just gotta figure out my shoes and then I'm gonna do some eye um, plumping. A little like those little patches. Um, and yeah, I will check in in the morning. So. Good morning. So Alrighty guys, hello. I look like crap, but what's new for an early flight? I just got here and I'm here an hour and a half early because that's how my parents are. If you know, you know. But I am wearing my girl talk shirt and this is my fit. I decided to wear my Sherpa this time since I didn't wear it last time. I'm all in this bag and it is beyond heavy, but thank the Lord that they don't do a weight check for your carry-on. 
so I'm about to go wash my face for the day because I didn't do that earlier and then wait. Okay, so I just landed and my grandpa's about like 45 minutes away, so I have to sit in Belleville, which there's like nothing to do here if you don't know. So we're gonna try to figure it out, but the flight was good. It wasn't as smooth as the one with my mom and sister, but it was really good. It's cold, but sunny this time, so it's not as depressing. And that was gonna pick me up, and then we're gonna go get lunch, and I will get ready for Kim to pick me up and to go to Paducah in our hotel. I'm super really excited, and yeah. So check in later. Hope to see you, or you can actually read my lips, and hopefully hear me well. It's been about 30 minutes, my grandpa is here, and let's go. I will never get used to how cold it is. Oh my gosh, it's like 30 degrees outside. Alrighty guys, so I am back in my hometown. Well, I'm in Marion, which is where my grandparents live. But just got dropped off. I am going to get in the car and go get some lunch. And then I'm gonna be meeting up with Kima and we will be going to Paducah. We're gonna go ahead and go straight shopping whenever we get there, just to get an outfit for tonight. And then we'll, we'll go check in the hotel. And then we'll all start getting ready. As you can tell, I still look like crap from whenever we woke up this morning, but it is what it is. Um, super excited, the drive wasn't bad. Honestly, it never seems bad coming back. It's always just super long getting there. Uh, but the drive wasn't bad, the plane ride wasn't bad. And now I'm just ready to see him and start getting ready to celebrate the birthday. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm also gonna be driving my grandma's car again, which I did that last time. And she has a Jeep and I'm like, I've always had cars like touch the bottom of the ground, very, very small. Um, but I absolutely adore her car. So super pumped. Let's do it. Let's start the trip. Even though I'm late. I mean, guess I couldn't believe how bad I'm breaking out right now. Especially after my facial video that I have to post. But anyway, getting gas and then we will be on our way. And it says we'll get there at four, which is just a little bit late. It's okay though, we're gonna be positive. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike, Angie, and Jillian. You're not gonna show? So you got me. Oh, you're always so corny. You're so cute, but you're corny. I love you. So. They can train contain traces of flowers and chocolate. Aww, made a book for us. <laughs> you are the corniest it gets. You are so sweet though. Ah, is that me? My glasses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, happy 23rd birthday, Kima. This is your year. I'm so Dinner ready. Okay, let's go. What is it? I said he comment. It's my birthday. Anyway, I can go behind the bar and make my girlfriend a drink. And he said, honestly, I trust you. What'd you have? What is it? That is Patron, pineapple juice, grenadine, and some tart. <laughs> he said it was too tart. Okay. All right, that's fair. Missed you. You look like you're just peacefully sleeping. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm awake. Hey guys, so it has been a day. We went to Five Guys and honestly we're feeling a little bit hungover from 
the drinks last night. So what happened, I didn't get to actually check in because we were enjoying ourselves and I didn't want to be on my phone too much, which I think is a good thing. Um, so he went downstairs and talked to the bar tender and I guess that the bartender recognized him from his job where he like serves at and they were like, oh my gosh, you were a server at their bachelorette party. So, or their bachelor party. So he was a server for their bachelor party. So all, like a few of the bachelors like Venmoed the bartender for us to have free drinks the whole night. So like, it was really, really cool. He felt really appreciated. That was nice. So we got free drinks. It was a really, really good night. But yeah, we were kind of feeling blah this morning. So we got five guys and then drove the hour home. And it was just honestly pretty tiring. Um, and then I was able to go see my grandma. I just had dinner with a friend. I had to grab a few drinks and then waiting for him to get off because he sadly had to work on his birthday. Um, but I will be able to be with him again anywhere between 8 and 10, depending on whenever he gets off. I'm hoping it is soon, but we will see. So, so yeah, so that's that. And besides that, you haven't really missed anything. But as far as my videoing skills, I have not been very active because yeah, I've just been trying to enjoy the moment and have a little less of a stressful trip. Um, but I will get to be with him soon and finish out his birthday. But last night was a lot of fun. And honestly, I just, the food was so good. Like last time we went to Doe's, it wasn't that great, but like we both got two lobster, well, I got two lobster tails and he got a sirloin and we just split it all and we had salad and sides and a cheesecake so it was really really good really really happy and i'm gonna go get a few drinks with the friends and then yeah go see him so i will check in later good morning mm -hmm. good morning everyone yes i am in the wild it is not the beach and my mom just sent me a picture of them at the beach so you can tell how I feel, but no, I'm very, very wintry right now. Um, but we just got ready. We are gonna go. I uh, talked him into going to my favorite breakfast place. So I'm excited. He was totally, <laughs> he hates Harbaugh's. Um, if you're from the area, you know Harbaugh's, but he's not a big fan. But um, he was like, I texted this morning. I was like, I think somebody texted you. And he was like, okay. And I texted him Harbaugh's dot, dot, dot. And he was like, and as the morning went on, I was like, I just have a feeling we're gonna go there. Anyway, moral of the story is I won. So we're going and he's packing up stuff. We're gonna get in the car, go ahead and go there. Then I'm gonna take him to his house. And then he'll pick me up at my grandparents' house and we'll just be spending time with the family the whole day. My family literally like, let me get this picture with for you. It really sucks. Look, it's just crap. But anyway, check in later. Really? I always do. I do not have good alcohol tolerance. When I was running, I was like, oh, oh, stop running. Hey, camera. Um, so we just had Harbaugh's. It was fantastic. fantastic. Um, I had a little piggy omelet. It was great. Um, diced ham combination. Had okay. some mushrooms. We had okay. avocado. Fantastic. I didn't get my fruit cup, but Madeline got extra ranch potatoes because of that. So that was you just fine. You still have to pay 50 cents for it, though. But we didn't have to pay for extra sour cream. So it all worked out. We gave the lady Jokes a nice tip. She was really happy. Your meal. My meal. <laughs> just woke up. I to the airport last night. We just met with him and then came back to his house and just chatted and not excited to leave. It was also really cold, so excited for that. So, just got to the airport. Uh, Looks really rough right now. But. Okay, you need this. I wonder if they get it. I love you. I see you soon. I see you soon. I see you soon. I said bye to each other and ran back and forth like 10 times, but I can't. I can't go back, so I'll take it later. Hey guys, so last time we talked, <laughs> put that right there. Last time we talked was not the best. Um, I was at the airport, obviously, and I was pretty sad. And um, I wasn't, I mean, I was, you know, obviously I was sad about leaving. But it didn't really hit me until like I, like we said our goodbyes and then I left and then I came back because like it just hit me right then. Um, it's just sad, like I don't, I'm not sad to leave the area. 
I'm just so ready for um, what's to come. And you know, he he does make me feel like home. So like him being around is enough in that kind of aspect. Um, but you know, we will see each other and we're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day. He sadly works on Valentine's Day, so it'll be celebrated afterwards. Um, and then, you know, the next time will be him being down here, whenever that is, whenever we're both ready and financially stable and mentally there. Um, but I am excited for the future. It was a really, really good trip. You know, we celebrated his birthday on Friday. His actual birthday was on Saturday. And then we spent, we spent a lot of time with family on Sunday. Um, I didn't film as much as I wanted to, but it was one of those things where like, I was trying to really enjoy the moment you know um i don't really see him that much so it's kind of hard as being like a vlogger and like trying to like vlog what i do because it's fun but like i genuinely want to spend like good quality time with him so that's kind of hard um but either way i've had my flight and it was really good at the beginning so we had like a storm like i told you it was delayed so our flight was delayed which was annoying in the first place then there was a storm so we had to go through it so there was turbulence enough to the fact we're like i will say that our flight was like okay warning you there's gonna be turbulence make sure that you guys sit down they were they made us aware even like the um the flight attendants were walking like okay we're gonna sit down we're gonna push this back they told us like five times so nobody was like not expecting it but that's still kind of scary um and then i had my first like actual drink and meal on a plane i ended up having um a margarita combo um because nobody was sitting by me so that was really nice so i was able to have a, a little uh, a little snack because i hadn't eaten anything all day um, and then I landed and I ended up getting an Uber this time since my dad took me there and the Uber was $50, which kind of hurt, but the guy was really nice. So I ended up tipping him and also I booked it as soon as I landed and it was ready two minutes later. So that was kind of nice. I didn't have to worry about anything. Um, and yeah, and then I went back and I went back to work and now here I am off. So I'm just going to sit here, you know, I've been talking to him and we're just both kind of like sad, but it's not i'd rather be sad and know that like the future is so bright and be sad and that's all so it was a really really good time um not sure i won't be able to visit family for a long time either so that's why i'm happy i got to go ahead and cross off all the boxes um i look like trash but i'm wearing a shirt and also it's 80 degrees here so that's kind of awesome so that's that's enough to motivate you um but i'm going to go in some close up some stuff at work um kind of try to enjoy being outside a little bit since I've been neglected of that and yeah and then I will check in with you guys later um you know comment below any tips and any video ideas because now that it will just be me for sure I definitely want to have some video ideas with you guys so comment below and I will see you guys next week so thanks for having fun with me bye